Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across the Windows Service pop-up that the dependency service or groups fail to start. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So a couple different things we're going to do in this tutorial. The first thing will be through the registry editor. So you just want to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with a registry editor. So go ahead and right click on that. Select run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control window, select yes. Now, before you proceed in this tutorial, like I stress in every single registry editor video I make, you want to create a backup of it. So if you need to go back to it at a future date, you can, so it shouldn't be any issue. So if you need to make the backup and you don't know how, just select the file tab, select export, file name, I'd recommend the date that you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location. So if you ever need to retrieve it in the future, you know where to find it. And then you would select save to finalize that. And if you ever needed to restore from the backup, you just would select file and then import and navigate to that location. So pretty self-explanatory, I would say. And now that you've made the backup, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Now you want to look for services, do the same thing, and then finally left click on the spooler folder. So we have to scroll down a little bit here, as you can see. Okay, left click on that. Now, if you need to pause the video and take note of the path that we've gone under, you can see at the top of the registry editor here, each backslash is a different folder we have gone under up to this point. So again, pause the video if you need to catch up. And now you want to look for something on the right side that says depend on service. So you can see it pretty clearly right here up at the top. You want to go ahead and double click on that. So you want to delete what's ever in here. So if there's anything in this value data field, delete it. Type RPCSS. So again, this is important here. So RPC and then SS, all one word. So RPCSS, and there's two S's. So once that is done and you have it on your screen, how it is on my screen here, select OK. So it does say that it cannot contain empty strings. That's fine, there will be empty strings. Anytime you edit a string value, you're gonna come across this warning message. So select OK, not a big deal. You can see the data has been saved here as RPCSS. You can see that right here in this column. You wanna double click on it again just to confirm. You can see it right here. So that's pretty much it for the registry editor here. So we're gonna go ahead and just close out of it. I just personally like to back out of all these. It looks a little bit cleaner. So when I make the next video, I don't have to open up to a busy looking screen. So anyway, we just closed out of there and we are going to now jump back to the star menu, type in services. Best match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Near the top, there should be a service that says application layer gateway service. Go ahead and double click on that. Alternatively, you can also right click and select properties, whatever way you prefer. And you wanna set startup type to automatic. If it's anything other than automatic or perhaps automatic delayed start, I'm going to make an exception for that, but you wanna make sure it's set to automatic if it's set to disabled or manual currently. And in service status, if it's stopped, you wanna select start there. And then select apply and okay to save that. Now you want to go down and locate the network connections service. So just scroll down a little bit. Go ahead and double click on that. Again, startup type, set that to automatic and apply and okay. Service is already running and you can also see that in this column here regardless. Next service is going to be the network location awareness service. So only a couple down from the previous one. And double click on it. 
Again, automatic, you wanna make sure it's running, apply and okay, if you needed to make any changes, which we did not in that case. Next one's plug and play, double click on that. Startup type, automatic, again, should be running, apply and okay. Next one you'll wanna look for is remote access connection manager. So not remote access auto connection manager, you wanna to go to remote access connection manager, which is right underneath that one. So don't mix them up here. And again, automatic, make sure it's running. Next one you wanna do is remote procedure call, and then in parentheses RPC, double click on that. And again, service that is running, automatic, good. And then should be a telephony, I guess. So go ahead and double click on that. You wanna make sure it's automatic. And then if it's stopped, you wanna start that up. Applying, okay. Okay, so once we've done telephony there, we can just close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully then you should be able to start the service again and you shouldn't have the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.